it's hard to ascertain why this is now happening. Why kids have become meaner. I just don't want to go into the conspiracy theories right now as to why. So you see this headline, right? And for obvious reasons, I chose not to show her photos. If you want to go to the Daily Mail and read the story as I have read it. She was by all appearances likely being raised in a single mother um, household and her only other sibling was three. And according to their mother, already the three-year-old boy can comprehend that his sister is never waking up and never coming back and he's miserable. That's what I took from reading the article. Basically, this young woman had moved to a new school eight months ago. And from the time she walked in the halls, she was immediately bullied. She'd come home with bruises and downplay it. But one day they beat her real bad in the bathroom and afterwards she still stood up, went to class. Come to find out that the mom had been complaining to teachers for, for quite some time and some people may have turned a blind eye, which I believe because I don't put anything past people. And there is no excuse, no matter how overworked you are, no matter how underpaid you claim to be, no matter what your problem, you don't overlook somebody being almost hit by something or slammed to the ground. Y'all got to go read the story. I forgot how it happened. Well, she was complaining of headaches days after, and then she goes to a party, and that's when she finally passed out, went into a coma, then died a few days later. And her mother believes it's the injury sustained from being beaten, but she had been taking beatings for a long time going to school. Kids are very mean these days. And don't get me wrong, in my generation, people would jump you and try to beat you down. And I remember being that quiet, shy kid, like, just stay away from them. Don't say nothing. Uh, and being fortunate that I never really got jumped, praying, God, just let me just get out of here. I'm going to join the Navy and I'm not going to look back. But now it doesn't matter if you mind your own business. It makes you a target. I don't know the full story of this young woman. But I can tell you this. If you are able. And I say that with, with all due respect. Because based on her socioeconomic position at the time she passed. I don't think her mother was able to. But if you are able. You need to get your kids out of public school. Because I think it sucks in a society when a three-year-old boy can be told that his sister's dead and at three he can comprehend that. Because people didn't know how to keep their hands off of, of, of his sister. And then they're stupid enough to gang jump her then have lots of people stand by and watch and or film. There's just something about all of this. We've gone beyond pulling people's pants up to give them a wedgie, locking them in lockers, which were all still bad things and pathetic things to do. We've gone beyond making them so miserable that they have to eat their lunch in the bathroom stall to keep from uh, offending anyone and being the butt of jokes at lunchtime. We've gone beyond pointing at them because they got smelly clothes or they're poor and throwing it in their face. We've gone beyond humiliation rituals where you point something out about them and they're the butt of people's jokes and you get laughed at as a result of somebody or somebody's calling you out. These kids will come close to killing you or will actually kill you. Now, don't get me wrong. When you go back in the 1990s, there were schools with armed guards and with uh, 
metal detectors to make sure kids didn't have guns. So I'm not making this about the fact that violence is a 21st century thing. What I am discussing, however, is that there's something about these phones that people sitting up here filming don't realize the magnitude of the pain they're causing. Because that's on the web forever and her mom has to live with that for the rest of her life. Her brother will get older. He will come to a knowing and an understanding and nasty videos showing the brutal beating that she'd been taking. And that's no way for a young man to have to grow up. Anybody can comment. What's making these people evil? What's making these kids a lot more wicked than they used to be? Rest in peace, Shaylee Mahale.